Hey, David Ono here. Thanks for watching another QuickBooks Online tip. Um, whenever I'm talking with fairly new QuickBooks users, there is a pretty commonly asked question uh, of why are my bank balances not matching? Um, and what they're talking about is generally this. If we look here at the uh, checking account where it says the bank balance is you know, negative $3,621.93. Well, QuickBooks shows a balance of $1,201. And, you know, it is kind of confusing to, to users. They say, well, why, why are those balances off? Shouldn't QuickBooks be matching what the bank says? And um, there could be a few reasons for this. Uh, the first place I always tell them to look is right here at this number in the right corner, the 24. Okay, now that means we have 24 transactions for review. This QuickBooks balance only uh, takes into account transactions that have already been categorized. So we have 24 transactions that are still floating out there that need to be confirmed, that categorized and confirmed. Okay, so we see $200 that we received, um, $1,200 that we spent. Those are transactions that if we hit the add button, that is going to affect this $1,201. So if we have uh, any number of transactions there for review, number one, I wouldn't expect the balance to be on as of that moment. We have transactions to confirm. So just to prove that point, if we look at this A rental, I'll scroll down a little so you can see it better. This A rental on October 16th, um, we're not even going to bother categorizing this for a second, but if we just hit add, it's $1,200 that we spent. Okay, we had $1,201 in the account in QuickBooks. Now that we've confirmed that, we just spent $1,200. We told QuickBooks we spent $1,200. Now that balance in QuickBooks is $1. So you see how one transaction just had that effect on it. Now, we're going to go through the rest of these transactions. And you can see um, out of the rest of these 23 transactions, some of them are money that we received and other transactions are money that we spent as a company. So every one of those, you know, the balance is going to go up 200, it's going to go down 800, going to go down 75, up $868, so on and so forth. So until we got finished categorizing all of those, um, we wouldn't expect that balance to be off or to be to match uh, from what it says here in QuickBooks to match what the bank balance says it is. Now, the other thing that we would uh, want to look at is um, has to do with beginning balances. Okay, so if you look at any of these banking accounts um, and we look at the bank register, this is like a, an old school um, paper checkbook register. Okay, now most people probably don't even use these things anymore, but it used to be when people actually wrote checks. Uh, we didn't have online banking. Um, you could write down all of your transactions, whether checks, debit cards, uh, bank deposits, whatever it was, and you could keep that running balance in your bank there. You could keep it in your register so you knew how much money you had at any given point. Um, now, if we look at this in the left-hand column here, this is the date. Now, we're running all the way down. This is running in a uh, descending fashion here, and we see uh, it looks like this Bank account was opened on May 7th, 2021. Opening balance was $5,000. Okay, so um, usually this is the next place that I tell somebody to look at. Uh, if reconcile or excuse me, if categorizing all the transactions didn't bring that uh, QuickBooks balance to match what the bank says the, the bank balance is, a lot of times this beginning balance is what's going on here. Um, See, if we look at, if we go back to the chart of accounts, I want to take you back to, you know, it's confusing. It can be confusing when we are first starting a QuickBooks Online account. They ask you to add the bank account. Let's go through that. Let's go through adding a bank account. So we're going to add, you know, the account type is going to be the bank. So we'll select that. And we're adding a checking account, right? We said we have a, a business checking account. So we're just going to add... Business checking. Okay, that's the name of this account. And anytime we add a bank account or a credit card or something like that, even a loan, um, it's going to ask you this. It says, when do you want to start tracking your finances from this account in QuickBooks? So 
what that is asking is, uh, you know, first of all, you have to ask yourself, um, is this a bank account that you've had open for a while? I mean, if, if I just opened this, um, you know, last week, you can see the date that I'm recording this is October 16th. So if this was last week, let's say it was October 12th that I opened the bank account, well, then the date that I want to start tracking is pretty obviously going to be October 12th. Let's say I've been in business for a couple of years and I wanted to go back to the beginning of this year. Okay, so I wanted to be at January 1st, 2021. That's when I'm going to start tracking this, okay, because I have all of my uh, bookkeeping done for 2020 and before uh, that was in a different bookkeeping system. So I'm going to start this beginning of this year, okay? So that's when we're making a clean start in QuickBooks. Now, it says we'll start tracking your finances from January 1st, 2021 onward. All right, so what was your account's balance on 12-31-2020? Okay, remember, I've had this bank account actually open for a few years now. A couple years, I forgot what I said, but it's been longer. It was open before the start of January 1st, 2021, but I'd been using it uh, previous to that. So they're asking for the balance on 1231, just so we have an established starting balance so that we can move forward. All right, so this would require um, me knowing what the balance was on 1231. Okay, now a lot of times when we're setting this up, we may not have the bank account uh, statement like on hand so we can know that. Uh, we don't know it off the top of our heads. So there is a way um, you can correct this, and I'll show you. So let's just say, what was your account's balance on 1231? If we put in a dollar here and we save and close this, we're going to establish that beginning balance as a dollar. Now, if that's not the correct amount, um, that one dollar, if we started uh, categorizing transactions, um, we hook this up to the bank account. Now, let's see here. Business checking, we've added that bank account to QuickBooks, and we said the opening balance was one dollar. Now, if we actually connected that to the bank feed uh, and we started importing that, we would have a bank balance here. Now, if we didn't open if we didn't set the proper opening balance, if that $1 is inaccurate and it was really like $500, we're never going to get the QuickBooks balance and the bank balance to match up. It's just because we're starting from the wrong starting point. So if you ever need to edit that, here's how you do that. We go in, we hit View Register, and we will see we've got our opening balance. So if we, we looked at the account, we said, okay, you know what? This was actually $500 was the opening. We could merely type in $500, save it. Um, it is going to ask you, it says this was reconciled already. Are you sure you want to modify this? Yes, we do. We want to make sure that's the right balance. And now we've established the right balance. Now, um, I'm showing you how you can edit this without like any other transactions pulled in. If you connect the bank account, you start categorizing transactions, then you realize um, that this account opening balance is off. You can always go back into this and, and edit that at that point. So this is not something like you have to establish um, right off the bat, but it's preferable. You want to get that right. But, um, you know, it happens that, that you get the wrong amount entered in there when you're first getting set up in QuickBooks. So just come back in here. You can edit that. Um, and that should get you in a better position. Now, follow, follow up on that. If neither of those two, if uh, categorizing all your transactions didn't work, if correcting the opening balance didn't work in getting your QuickBooks balance and your bank balance to match up, um, the next thing that I would have you do, we're not even going to show you, I mean, um, is to make sure that you reconcile, okay? So if you go through and you reconcile, um, you want to go through month by month and um, you'll be able to find out where the thing, um, okay, so when you first reconcile, you're going to be able to watch this video here to see uh, just exactly how the process works, okay, but if we go ahead and skip over that for a second, um, you know, we've done other videos on reconciling, but it's really, it's a monthly process you want to be doing. Um, and so if you go month by month, 
if you can reconcile the first month, um, then you're going to move on to the next month. And you keep going until you find where there's an issue. Okay, so you may be able to find uh, what transaction you're either missing or if you've got a duplicate transaction and it throws your balances off. Okay, now I just wanted to touch on that briefly that reconciling will help you uncover that. Um, if you have any follow-up questions on that, because that can be a little bit more time-consuming, uh, it's probably just going to be a longer explanation, but uh, reach out to us, either comments, uh, you know, however you're watching this video right now, on uh, whatever platform you're on, comment or send us a message. Um, let us know what questions you have on this topic um, or if uh, any of this was helpful. <laughs> we're, we're trying to be helpful with these QuickBooks tips, but uh, otherwise... Um, that should, one of those three methods should clear up any discrepancy you have and why your QuickBooks balance does not match what the bank says your bank balance is. So otherwise, thanks so much for watching this video. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next one.